Hi, this is Saev Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpisami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpisami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Now guys, let's take a look at the gold market as usual. Uh, so, as you can see, the situation hasn't changed really significantly since yesterday was the uh, holiday in the United States and the gold market was closed. So, as you can see, price action mostly stands at the same uh, area as it was on Friday. Uh, but in general, uh, what we see right now on the daily chart, as we have discussed in our weekly research, so the setup of the Judd Napoli as the failure triangle breakout has worked perfectly. So you can see as soon as market has dropped out from the triangle, it has reached the daily confidence support. And uh, on the background with the bad non-farm payrolls data, it has returned right back up inside of the triangle. So this is very interesting and perfect setup. So I like this setup so since you can't see it very very often on the market, but when it, it appears, it's really usually works so uh, it's not necessary it should be the triangle sometimes it's hand shoulders but the idea is the same existence of the strong support right below the neckline or border of the triangle significantly, significantly increase the chance of the failure breakout so you can see we have this action right now uh, finally as you can see gold market stands inside of the body of this triangle so uh, it means that maybe this market will continue move higher and show some upward continuation here. It's really possible because if uh, market has intention to turn down, it's probably hardly it, it stands inside the inside of the triangle. But as market already has returned back up and stands inside of it and doesn't show any up, opposite action, it means that probably we will see some kind of the action inside of the triangle again, some some upward continuation. Um, at the same time, as we said, currently it's very difficult for the mar gold market to show any significant bull trend. Uh, it could show some upward action for the maybe 20 30 bucks per contract inside of the triangle, but hardly it will become a significant upward trend. Uh, at the same time, uh, we can't talk on the bearish setup because market stands above the major, tar ma major support and uh, it doesn't show any reversal signs and it doesn't show any reversal patterns uh, and the investors mostly still keep long positions on the gold market that's why we probably will could return back to discussion of the possible uh, bear trend only if market will show the breakout some significant support area so we'll drop below 13 even this confidence and start to move down to the bo bottom of this Brexit candle in this case we could try to speak about the bear setup but right now it's not the time yet. On the bullish uh, situation on an upside, potential on the gold market is also limited, at least on the daily weekly charts, on the intraday charts, maybe some short term steps could be taken. For example, if we take a look at the follow time frame chart, I'm split into the hourly chart, uh, what we have uh, here, guys, we see clear sign of the bullish dynamic pressure. So you can see that the trend stands bearish, but the price action is moving higher. It means that market will, should take it out of this top at minimum. So it should show some upward sp spike here, whether it will be very short term or maybe it will be upward continuation, but this top should be taken out. At the same time, we see that market has completed this A, B, C bottom 1618 targets, it's minor target of this minor hand shoulders that we have discussed on the previous week. And we said, if you remember, that market could show some greater pattern. So, for example, this could become the left shoulder, head, this market could start to form the right shoulder here. If this will happen, we will be able to estimate the nearest target with this upward action. But again, guys, this will be mostly the technical stuff. So that's right Right now on the gold market where mostly we'll be watching for a very short term perspective. What is going on on intraday charts and right now we expect first taking out of this top. But some by some action, maybe it will be just fast spike up uh, or something of that sort. But this bullish dynamic pressure should, should reach its target and second we will be watching for some downward retracement here maybe we will get as a result some kind of this initial special or something of that sort 
and after that we will continue to work with this minor pattern at least until we will get some clarity on the high time frames on the weekly chart on the, on the daily chart so that's our current view on the gold market